Hi girls, it's Thursday. I know it's not Wednesday. Obviously, you know it's not Wednesday. Um, it's really late on Thursday, but I didn't have a chance to upload or film anything yesterday because I was with Vicky because it was her birthday and I didn't want to spend her birthday making a video on her computer. So I am uploading now on my iPhone in one take because I also left my computer at my dad's so I can't edit and um, I don't have a camera cord to hook up to my mom's crap dinosaur PC computer that has no editing software anyway. So here I am via iPhone and my arm is like killing me right now but I'm gonna power through it. So quickly I'm gonna tell you the last few books I read to complete the challenge. Yes, I did complete the challenge. Um, and then I'm just gonna kind of reflect and I'm not gonna cry because I'm not gonna cry. Okay, my arm is really hurting. Hold on. Uh, there we go. Okay. So the number 48, yeah, 48th book I read this year is called Happy Accidents. It's a memoir by Jane Lynch. Um, it's really, really good. It's not like any other memoir I've read and um, I said before, a lot of people compare it to Bossy Pants by Tina Fey, but it's really, really different from that, and it's really heartfelt and sentimental, and I'm really, like, surprised by how personal she got in it and how much I now know about her that I wouldn't because she's such a, like, strong-willed woman and she has this just presence everywhere, and I never would have guessed any of that would happen to her, but it's it's a really fantastic book, and I really recommend it to anyone. Um, number 49 is actually a fan fiction. It's a Glee fan fiction. I know neither of you girls are really into Glee, but if any of our viewers are, it's called Dystopia. It's still going on, but if you've been following the channel and you know of my part of the challenge, um, I read a lot of fan fiction, and with fan fiction, if it's still, um, if it's a multi-chapter fan fiction and I've caught up by the end of the year, if it's not finished yet, then I count it. Um, so this, I've caught up, I caught up just today actually, and um, I really, really love this fan fiction. It's really good. Um, I really recommend it to anyone. I'm really into that whole dystopian world kind of concept that a lot of books have, like that's in the Ugly series and kind of in the Hunger Games series too. Like I just find it really, really fascinating and this this one is like just a prime example of a dystopian world that is really, really cool and really, really corrupt and I love that kind of story. So um, I really recommend that fanfiction if you're into Glee. It's really not Glee related. They really just took the names of the characters and put them in a story. So if you just want to read a story with Glee characters' names, go ahead, I recommend it. Um, and then number 50 is called The White Tiger by Aravinda Diga, and it is so good. Um, I read it for my English class. Um, I'm on break right now, but I read it just because it's really good. It's really funny, it's really satirical, and it's it's really, like, it's nothing like I've ever read before. Um, it's, it's an advanced work, I think, for someone of my age as the youngest on, probably on YouTube overall, let's let's just face it, I am the youngest person on YouTube, but, um, <laughs> but, um, it's really good, and I really recommend it, and it just came out recently, I think in 2008, and, um, yeah, so those are my last three books, I completed the 50 book challenge, yay, <laughs> ow, my arm, okay, um, so, we haven't really talked a lot about what we're going to do next year on this channel. Um, I don't really know why. That, that would have been a good thing to do, right, girls? But um, I think I'm going to pull a 5AG move here and say that you'll see me at least once a month. Um, I will post at least once a month on this channel on a Wednesday, just talking about books and what's going on in my life, and I hope you girls will follow my lead either posting every single week, every month, every two weeks, et cetera, et cetera, because I don't want this channel to gather dust. I think it's a really fantastic idea, and I think that the YouTube community really needs more reading in their life, and I don't think that a lot of people on YouTube talk about books. I, there's not a lot of channels out there that just talk about books like we do, and I think it's really important, and I think 
I don't get a lot of good book recommendations. I know that I might start the True Blood series because Heather raves about it all the time and it seems really good so I might start it. Um, and there's a lot of books that I have yet to read that I need to and the, uh, my 2012 list is growing immensely and I really want to share it with you girls and I hope you'll follow my lead. Um, yeah, so yeah, I, I'm i just really glad we did this. I mean, I I can safely say that I posted the least on this channel because I think I was the busiest out of all three of us. Um, but but even, even beyond just not posting that much, I've really built a strong connection to both of you girls and I can safely say that you girls are like really, really close friends of mine and I really um, enjoy just talking to you and having discussions with you and being in your presence. Um, so, I really hope we can continue to build on that friendship because I've grown to love you girls <laughs> um, to be a sap. <laughs> um, next year, I don't know, I think Heather is going to VidCon, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I'm going to LeakyCon next year, so if either of you girls are going to LeakyCon or if any of our viewers are going to LeakyCon, I will be there and we should hang out at some point. It'd be really, really awesome to meet you girls in person. But um, if you're not, well, I, the internet is always there. So we'll, we'll always have the internet. Um, this has been a really great year. I hope you girls had a happy holidays and have a happy new year. And I'll see you in 2012. And I'm not going to cry because that would be ridiculous. Okay, bye.